A big day for the offense. Mike Petralia outside Paycor Stadium. The Bengals were back at it in full pads here on Thursday afternoon. Bright sunshine, hot temperatures, but not as hot as the Bengals offense was here on Thursday as they were pretty much the story of the day from start to finish. Early on, we saw plenty of Jamar Chase and T. Higgins making athletic grabs as they have been all camp long, all seven days of it now. We also saw Irv Smith Jr., the tight end, the free agent uh, from the Minnesota Vikings. He was again making big-time plays. And how about this for a note? The Bengals' running backs consisted of Joe Mixon, rookie Chase Brown, and of course Chris Evans. Travion Williams is still out with a right ankle injury, but all three of the backs that played here on Thursday were able to run with the first team offensive line. That is significant because I think Zach Taylor and Brian Callahan, the offensive coordinator, want to get a true feel for what each of these offensive running backs can do. Uh, in the system. They already know, obviously, what Joe Mixon can do, and he looks strong again here on Thursday. He had a nice red zone touchdown run over Nick Scott of two yards. But to see Chase Brown, the rookie out of Illinois, and Chris Evans, the third-year player out of Michigan, do their thing with the first-team unit, uh, that was also something to take note of. Chase Brown has looked very good. He had a couple of big moves here on Thursday afternoon for big games with the first-team unit but it was the story of the wide receivers at the end of practice that really stole the show drew the oohs and ahs from the crowd at the end of practice trenton irwin with the catch of camp so far no question about it he stuck out his hand one-handed on a back shoulder throw from trevor simeon he got some separation from the cornerback that was covering him none other than cam taylor Britt, who has shined here in camp so far in 2023 but trenton irwin goes up with the left hand brings it down for the touchdown he was mauled by teammates after the uh, practice trenton irwin said he was just trying to get his head around to find the ball. Once he did, he stuck up uh, the hand and brought down the ball all in one motion. Uh, Cam Taylor Britt congratulating him immediately after the play. You can catch that video on my YouTube page at Jungle Roar Pod. It's up there. It's also up on my Twitter page at Trags, T R A G S. Also, his complete locker room reaction. After that, it was Andre Yoshivas finishing off practice with a touchdown grab of his own. That was the third of three spectacular grabs. The middle one might have come at a big-time cost. Charlie Jones made a terrific catch on a pass from Jake Browning, who was the number two quarterback here on Thursday afternoon, but he fell hard on his shoulder. They were treating his left shoulder after practice on a cart. After practice in the locker room, he was spotted. He was talking to teammates. He did not talk to the media. Uh, he had his le- he was favoring and supporting his left arm uh, and holding it very gingerly. It appeared to be uh, some type of left shoulder injury. We'll get a complete report or a further report, I should say, from head coach Zach Taylor here on Friday. But Charlie Jones sustains an injury, making a sensational catch here on Thursday afternoon. I mentioned Trevor Williams, uh, Travion Williams, excuse me, earlier uh, in this recap. Travion Williams was spotted in the locker room with a boot on his right ankle. He told me it'll be a couple of weeks. He got lucky. It is only a right ankle sprain sustained in individual drills. First day of pads back on Tuesday afternoon. He expects to be back in part of the rotation toward uh, the middle of the preseason. So it looks like Travion Williams, who was bat, you know, really battling uh, for that backup role to Joe Mixon, uh, certainly is a third down feature uh, back and a pass protecting specialist, which he mentioned here on Wednesday, on Thursday afternoon. He wants to get back into the mix, but certainly he wants to come back at full strength. So he will not be out an extended period of time, and that is very good news. Uh, for the Bengals. Again, the Bengals will hold their breath on Charlie Jones, the rookie uh, out of Purdue, and hope that he is not out uh, injured for any long, indefinite period 
of time. But the offense really did its thing here on Thursday afternoon. That was the story of day seven of training camp, second day in full pads. Bengals will be back at it in full pads here on Friday afternoon. Again, Trevor Simeon is expected to get uh, the roll uh, and the run with the number ones with uh, Jake Browning as the number two. Reed Sinet will hop in back and forth with the second and the third team uh, as he works his way into reps as the third quarterback. Joe Burrow is obviously still in rehab on his right calf. We have a complete rundown on Twitter at Trags on clnsmedia.com and be sure to check out uh, the My Jungle Roar pod a YouTube page at youtube.com. We have all the videos and insight from the Bengals locker room from here on Thursday. Outside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.